plants and trees around us respire in presence of oxygen. Now this type of respiration where oxygen is utilized to break down glucose to carbon dioxide, water and large amounts of energy is known as aerobic respiration where aerobic means air. So this is the respiration where oxygen from the air is utilized for respiration. Now, like Peter, even you might have faced this situation where your mother has packed you your lunch box in the morning, but after a few hours during your lunch time when you open it, there is a rotten malodor coming out of it. Now, how did this happen? Well, Peter got very curious as to why this rotten malodor was uh, liberated from his tiffin box. So in order to find out, he took a piece of food from his tiffin box, mounted on a slide and observed under the microscope. He saw an ever-increasing population of microorganisms on his piece of food. Now for the microorganisms to grow, energy is required and that energy is provided by respiration. But how did the microorganisms respire in absence of oxygen? Because Peter's mother had packed the food in an airtight tiffin box. There couldn't have been any air or oxygen present in the lunch box. Then how did these microorganisms respire and grow? Let us find out. Can respiration take place without oxygen? If it does, then does glucose break down to carbon dioxide and water? We'll see very shortly. Red wines and alcohols are formed from the fermentation of red grapes. How does that happen? Well, microorganisms known as yeast are mixed with grapes in absence of oxygen in airtight barrels. These yeasts grow and if they grow, they will respire. Now, respiration causes the formation of alcohol. So this is the entire equation denoting the formation of alcohol from glucose or grapes. Well, grapes are a source of glucose. Now, yeasts act upon this glucose source and breaks it down into carbon dioxide, alcohol and a small amount of energy. Now, see, these microorganisms known as yeasts, they respire in absence of oxygen. So this type of respiration that takes place without oxygen is known as anaerobic respiration where anaerobic means no air and means no and aerobic means air. So this respiration takes place without the presence of oxygen in the air. Now let us compare the energy production during respiration. While in aerobic respiration, one molecule of glucose breaks down to form 38 molecules of ATP, during anaerobic respiration, one molecule of glucose breaks down to form only two molecules of ATP. So this is the summary of aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. These are the chemical equations. In aerobic respiration, Glucose is broken down by six molecules of oxygen to form six molecules of carbon dioxide, six molecules of water, and 38 molecules of ATP. But in anaerobic respiration that occurs without oxygen, microorganisms like yeast break down one molecule of glucose into two molecules of carbon dioxide, two molecules of alcohol, and two molecules of ATP.